So I'll show you what's in the box. Um, It has a seven foot lightweight braided fiber cable and uh, nine programmable hyper response buttons. Um, the form factor is ambidextrous, um, uh, so it really uh, it's very comfortable uh, for long gaming sessions as well. And the uh, mouse looks really solid. I haven't taken it out of the box, but usually I, I've heard a lot of. Uh, reviews uh, from people who already own this mouse and they've really they've highly recommended me to buy this um, so I'm going to take this out of the box now the documentation uh, we have the razor type and Taipan Master Guide. Um, so it talks about the Synapse 2.0, uh, the world's first cloud based uh, storage and personalized gaming settings. So you can save all your configuration um, over the cloud and uh, you can sync it with whatever PC you attach your mouse to, which is really good. So you don't have to reset the mouse again and again while using it with a different uh, computer system, PC, or whatever. Yeah, and uh, then we have the, uh, that's the um, device layout, a quick start guide. And then we have uh, the Razer congratulations thing. Uh, so there's no turning back. And yeah, the Synapse 2.0 settings, anytime, anywhere. Yeah, so let's take the mouse out of the box. That's how the mouse looks like gaming, um, and yeah, I had the Naga Molten, and it looked a bit, it felt a bit heavier than uh, the Taipan. The texture of the mouse is really good. Um, uh, it has a green color LED logo illumination, and uh, the texture is matte finish. So uh, it's not going to attract any fingerprints, um, it's all matte. It, it's a bit of a rough finish which is really good uh, for long uh, gaming sessions. The scroll is um, it's, it's good as well, it's, uh, it's, a bit, it's, very, uh, it's not very smooth but it, it, it feels like um, it's got a, a the responsiveness and is really good. It's and uh, yeah, we have two buttons on the top as well. They stick out a bit, but it's all right. Um, the side of the mouse, the grip is rubberized, so it it's a different texture than the uh, top, which is matte, and uh, the right side is rubberized as well. So it's got two buttons on the right hand side, and uh, they're really clicky which is really good. Um, I had the Naga Molten Edition mouse as well and uh, the button were rubberized so they were not really responsive and uh, I think it was a waste of money but anyway um, yeah the, the, these buttons are really good they feel really clicky so I'm sure that the responsiveness will be really good um, and uh, that's the back of the mouse so what they've done again is uh, they have the optical sensor as well as the laser sensor. So the mouse has exceptional pinpoint tracking um, as I mentioned earlier. 
uh, the serial number of the mouse is mentioned here and uh, yeah it's the Razer Taipan it's uh, made in China um, anyway all products are made in China these days because uh, the labor there is cheap so it makes sense yeah the um, the feet is uh, the mouse is uh, it's really smooth I haven't uh, used it as yet but yep I'll be showing you uh, after connecting it to my PC as well so the mouse um, oh, the mouse is really clicky which is really good so you can actually feel every it's really it feels really responsive and uh, yeah it, it really fits perfect in the hands it's it's perfect yep it's not too heavy not too light I um, yeah, so it, it's it's perfect weight. So I'll show you the mouse again. Hmm. So the cable is um, it's a seven feet um, cable, and uh, yeah, as usual, the USB is gold plated. Um, it's the same as all the Razer products, which is really good. Um, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's the mouse again. Um, so you can see the Razer logo up here. So that lights up when you connect it to your PC. And um, this uh, is green in color, which is really good. Because um, I'm kind of bored of the blue color. Yeah. So green color it stands out a bit, and uh, yeah, and it's it's more bright than the uh, blue color for some reason. It looks bright, and uh, we have four side buttons, which are really clicky, which are really tactile. Um, so the responsiveness is really good. You can feel the click, which is good, and the scroll is good as well. And we have two buttons on the top as well, and. Um, the uh, the cable is uh, it's a braided cable, um, like all the Razer products. Um, so it's really good. You don't have uh, issues with cables uh, um, messing up, and so you know the nylon cables, braided cables, are really good quality. Um, I haven't had any issues with uh, Razer braided cables with other products at all. The Black Widow um, keyboard the other Death Hider mouse and uh, Naga, Molten or whatever Razer products I have, they all have the same cable and it's really really good. Uh, yeah. So uh, that's the unboxing of the uh, Razer Taipan ambidextrous mouse. Um, so I'll just uh, connect it to my PC and we'll see how it is. So um, that's the Razer Taipan. I've just connected it to my PC, and uh, yeah, just to show you the mouse again. So uh, as usual, two buttons on the left, two buttons on the right, and uh, rubberized uh, texture on uh, both the sides the top bit is uh, it has its matte finish so it won't attract any fingerprints which is really good and the buttons are really clicky as well um, yep yeah they're really clicky so that's pretty good um, as you can see that's the uh, Razer logo and it lights up um, so it's set at the blinking uh, stage which is uh, default as I haven't installed uh, the Synapse 2.0 because I'm using uh, Linux Ubuntu yep and the scroll wheel lights up as well which is really good because you can see it in the dark and the two buttons on the top so the bottom the mouse feed is really good. I'm using the Razer mouse pad as well. 
So um, just to show you the glide, uh, it really glides, it's pretty cool. It glides really well. It's not too light. Um, I, I mentioned at the beginning of the video during unboxing, um, I felt that it is light, but it's not. It, it, it's perfect. It, it's a good weight. And um, yeah. So uh, I'll show you the mouse cursor. I don't know if you can see it. Yep. So uh, it's really responsive in Linux as well. And uh, I'm sure the uh, optical uh, and uh, the uh, laser sensor. Uh, the dual sensor, they uh, too make a big deal. Um, yep, so that's the back of the mouse. As I uh, showed you earlier, there is the mesh on the right and the left on both the sides. I think it's a part of a design or it's probably for... Um, um, I don't know, it's just a design. Um, yeah, the feet is uh, really smooth, it's really slick, it's better than the uh, Naga Molten because I, I always felt that the Naga Molten was a bit um, too rough um, The uh, as compared to the Taipan. Uh, the braided cable is really good as well it's, as you can see the braided cable is, uh, is a bit it's a bit low rather than being in the center or on top um, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really. Um, it doesn't affect the uh, movement of the mouse at all. Yeah. So. Um, It's daytime and uh, the light really is much better than the, uh, than the blue uh, lights which Razer used um, in the old mouse. So I think the green is uh, it's a bit different and it's the right color for 2013. Because uh, I know that they're coming up with the new black videos and it has the green color as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, buy that as well. That's really smooth as well. Uh, it's got a bit of feedback to it in a way, which is really good. So it's not like super smooth. Um, and um, the buttons are really good. They're really clicky. The side buttons are really good. Um, better than the Naga Molten because I really didn't use them. Um, but the side buttons in this, I can really... Uh, the the uh, ergonomics of the mouse, the design is ambidextrous, which is really good. Um, so. It, I don't have really huge, uh, I don't have really big hands, but um, yeah, so I can really click um, the, uh, the, the keys as well, the buttons as well, and the top button as well. I'm not too sure about the right buttons because it, it does interfere in a way. I'd probably be using only the left two buttons and uh, the, uh, obviously the top button. But I'm really happy with the design, it, it's really solid, uh, the matte finish is really good. Uh, the sides are rubberized, which is really good because uh, it doesn't tend to slip at all. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's a perfect design. Razer has finally uh, they've finally uh, done a really good job with this mouse. It's much better than the Naga Molten um, and the Naga Hex. Um, I uh, haven't bought the Naga Hex. But the design is the same as the Naga Molten and the normal Naga mouse. And uh, I don't really like the design of the Naga Molten. I just have it stashed up somewhere. So um, if you like the video, hit the like button. And do subscribe if you have any questions. Um, or if you want to leave comments, feel free. And uh, thanks for watching my video.